friends, so this is Pramita here and I'm going to show you how you can make some simple tags. I'm sorry guys. Uh, some simple tags by using these collage elements that are in my first botanical collage uh, kit. So uh, yesterday uh, in the previous part I had cut down those papers and here they are. So, so here they are and oh, I'm going to only use some book pages, some craft paper, some labels um, and the images from the kit. So even before I proceed to that point, so these are the ephemera that might end up being pockets or you know ephemera as such. So I'm not sure about that. I'm just going to more or less build up the stash of about a uh, certain uh, quantity. So so that I can decide what I want to do with them. So this is the stack. Okay, so we have around 12 pieces and I'm going to make some tags and journal cards, a uh, very simple collage thing that you can do with these with only I think two or three elements uh, just to give your page a pop. So we're going to proceed with that. So before I start that, what I would suggest is you make a template of uh, the size of tag that you want. So I have here uh, the tag that I want to use, the template. Uh, and this is a little bit thicker cardstock. Um, this is recycled, uh, some cover of the composition notebooks that you see. So what I've done is I've drawn um, uh, a tag, um, the size that I want, and I have cut this paper out. So I'm going to do the collage over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this up with tea stain paper. So it's going to be pretty sturdy because this is a thick drawing uh, paper sort of thing. This is not your copy paper. Uh, but it, And what I love about this paper is it already has a creamish color to it. It's not stark white. It's cream. And uh, I don't know. This is like children's drawing book. I, I absolutely love this paper quality. And uh, I usually use this a lot. So this is what I'm using. It's called drawing book. And um, this is a local brand, nothing fancy, but it does the job. So that's it. So what I'm going to do is I have my template ready and very simple, very, uh, you know, very easy. Just like we did when we were in school. Um, just to draw this, you know. And I am going to, sorry. So I'm just going to. do this so I have my template drawn out and this is a very simple process you don't have to have too many things too many supplies now I can't seem to find my scissors okay so I have my scissors sorry uh, that's not the scissors that I wanted so here I have a piece so what I'll do is I'll just I'll just trim a piece and I won't bore you with you know trimming of pieces as such so what I'll do is I'll come back and show you after I have made uh, quite a stack of uh, these tags and I'll sh also show you how you can uh, then I will show you how you can uh, collage on these and yeah so I already have these two tags as you can see these are my collage bases. I don't want the bases to be too thick because uh, I am going to stitch on them also. So um, I don't want uh, my sewing machine to go through too thick a paper. So I am going to make a bunch of these uh, tags and then I'm going to come back and show you uh, what we, how we are going to do the collage. So I'll be back. Keep watching. Hi, so I'm back everybody and I have cut down the, you know, the papers uh, to size and I've also gathered a few stuff that we can work with. Uh, this is not what I need right now. So here I have uh, some elements that can be used in the journals or, you know, just to build your stash. So I'll be using some simple methods and um, also, yeah. So this is just blank papers as you can see nothing has been done 
no tea dyeing, no coffee dyeing, nothing. Only thing is that I have used uh, a creamish coloured, uh, not too thick a cardstock, but drawing paper. Uh, this is uh, good quality drawing paper, so you can work on them. And the stamping, if you do some stamping, it also comes out beautifully. So we are go also going to do some stamping. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, see how many tags and yeah. So I have made around four tags. So let's start collaging on the tags first and then we can move on to the others so here are the tags okay so um, now one thing I'd like to say is I like to keep my collages very simple um, because um, you know it's the placement of the elements that's what I've learned uh, that matters most it's not the amount of elements that you're using according to me well People might uh, have different thoughts, but my collages are mostly using uh, three to four elements, not more than that. Maybe I'm going to go back to them later on at a later stage and see if they need anything else. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to use some book pages and I'm just start gluing them down. So here is a very old dictionary page that I'm going to use. And I'm going to start off with one. So as you can see, uh, you can start from here. So I'm going to start from one corner, probably. Yeah. And I'm going to use some glue stick. Uh, this is... Uh, I can't find my... Uh, I mean, I can't get hold of the regular glue stick that I use. So I'm using a different brand. Um, just try to use a good quality brand that's all nothing else and um, let me get my card so what I do is I'll just try to smooth it with an old credit card or something of that sort as you can see it's nothing it's not completed night right now I'm just going to work on layers so the first paper I'm going to tear up is this one and um, yeah so uh, the first thing is if you don't have good fussy cutting skills no worries you can just uh, tear around this piece and uh, you know uh, use it in your collages that doesn't matter at all so I'll show both you know if you want fussy cut you can do that also so what right now I'm just going to use this bird and it's one of my favorite images guys <laughs> on these sheets and it's not that I'm a very big bird person uh, and honestly I have not done too many bird journals also um, just a few here and there probably and um, but I love how this turned out you know I was telling my husband because it's, it has been in the pipeline for a few uh, weeks and then we really got serious about it you know we should do something like around this line so I am going to use um, some vintage photo now this is a distress oxide I wanted to try the distress oxide so um, I just bought a few distress oxides and vintage photo being one of them so since this ink pad is fairly just opened the, it's very juicy and I don't want to um, you know so uh, one thing I'm going to try and do is if anybody uh, desires then probably I'm going to make some I'm going to scan these uh, probably not sure uh, because these are my artwork I mean I arranged these things so I can pretty well uh, claim them to be mine uh, because these are public domain images and um, once a person puts them into his or her artwork it officially becomes theirs so you can't resell them or reproduce them as it is so right now I can do whatever I like with these artwork so I'm going to place this 
so I try now I'm not going to use anything else as a focal point or anything so this is the background and just trying to figure out yeah so I'm going to place the bird over here little birdie and I might put a label over here so I have not come out with any label sheets right now as of now uh, eventually maybe I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure about things like that you know something some things sometimes happen and some things don't so I can't promise anything but I am going to dig into my stash of um, labels mostly from either from Shabby Dabby Duda, Tina or from Tracy Fox so I can use something like this so I just need to cut into this so I might use something like this okay so um, I need something I think I will go with this. I like, like that number thingy. So I'm going to cut this. And okay. So I have a binder of these uh, smaller elements, and uh, those are like a page. Do you call them page protectors, a folder sort of thing? This is a two ring binder and I keep all my smaller elements there and whenever I need to use these things in my collage I just dig into my folder and it's arranged in sh basically in shop uh, wise uh, so I know when I want to use what from which shop and even if I'm doing some design work uh, design team work I know that I'll be able to dig into that so here is the label that's going in so I'm going to put that okay so I'm going to put in this I just like to put it a little bit away from the edge because um, I think um, that is better because in case I have to trim that then I don't want to lose the image or such so now it's looking a little bit complete and I'm going to add a little bit of stamping over here I'm going to show you how I'll be back with my stamps right now so I have these number stamps these are very cheapo um, you know non branded stamps that I have and these are wooden stamps and you can use them uh, so I'm going to use a number over here so maybe uh, and what I like about these are that they have the circle around them so they have that rustic feel so I'm going to use my vintage photo and see how it comes out because I've not stamped with this so let me see how it comes out a piece of paper probably so I'm going to wow that's good I want that so I can use this that's cool and so I'm going to use this and even if it's a little bit wonky or if it doesn't come out properly that's okay like that adds to the beauty isn't it so it's going to be like so that's okay and that's how it's looking and I can add something else if I think so this is number so I can use this also uh, you know so I might so I'm going to just ouch. <laughs> so I'm just going to stamp this So that's how it's looking 
so I think it's looking pretty interesting and I don't want to add anything else to this so you can see it's very simple you just need to do uh, put in a little bit of uh, things here and there and we have our tag done so uh, I'm just going to trim the bottom a little bit bottom part yeah yeah and now I'm just going to stitch around it and back it with tea stained paper so I will complete all the tags um, you know and show you uh, in complete uh, the rest of the tags in the next um, episode and show you how I'm going to seal everything up uh, by using you can do that even if you don't want to do that that's fine because I have used glue extensively but still uh, sometimes you know if you want to give this a more grungy effect or if you want to make sure that everything sticks properly I would suggest you just use, use a decoupage glue or you know something like a PVA uh, mixture with water and uh, seal everything up so I might do that after I have uh, you know completed collaging on all the tags now the next part I'm going to show you more collaging on these tags using these papers and how you can practically use up every little image to decorate your tags and journal cards so that's going to be the next part so keep watching every day there's going to be a little bit of the collaging and how you can build up your stash using these two collage papers you don't need to get any more uh, because you can harvest the paper basically uh, you know everything from this uh, you know page pages that I have designed so uh, that's how I have planned everything out so bye everybody I'll be back with the next episode of collaging and showing you how you can harvest every little portion from the collage sheets nothing is going to waste so bye have a great day and start crafting. Start crafting, guys. Bye.